Hello year one and welcome to Wednesday's maths lesson. Hopefully you've started off by singing some counting songs this morning. I put some links on so that you'll recognise from doing at school. You might have counted all the way to 20. You might have challenged to count yourself to 50. Or you may have taken our super challenge and counted all the way to 100. So today we're going to be thinking a little bit more about numbers and about place value. I wonder if you can remember what place value means. Have a quick think when I talk about place value. Can you remember it is a tricky question. If you said place value is thinking about each digit and what each digit is worth, then you are correct. Place value is thinking about what each part of the number represents, what that number is made up of. You might have said that place value is to do with tens and ones, or you might have even said tens and ones and hundreds. Today, we're gonna to be thinking about our tens and ones that make up numbers. So it helps us with numbers once we get over our tens barrier, we start thinking about those numbers and some of them are a bit tricky, those tricky teens number, what they're made up of and how we can definitely know that we can read them correctly. So I am going to show you a few different ways you can do it. So I'm going to write a number here. It's going to have some tens in it and some ones. I wonder if you'll be able to tell me what my number is and how many tens and ones it has in it. Are you ready? What number do I have here? What number is this? And what is this number made up of? How many tens and how many ones? How many tens and how many ones? One part of this number is the tens part, one is the ones. I hope you said that this is a number 15 and 15 is made up of one, 10 and five ones. And when we're at school, you might remember when we used our tens and ones frames to make them. So to make 15, that number 15, we can write it in here, 15, because it's in two parts, I can see it has one, 10 and five ones. Now, at school, we have our base 10, and we know that one of these sticks is very clever. If you look very carefully, you might remember it looks like it's made up of lots of different parts. I wonder if you can tell your grown-ups at home, this stick is not just one long stick. It's made up of lots of tiny blocks. How many tiny blocks is it made up of? What number does it represent? If you said it represents 10, you are correct. This is one 10. It's very hard to show you in this light, but each part here has got a little divide and I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten blocks all stuck together. And I don't have to count this every time because I know every time I look at this, it will be a ten. This is one ten. Can you say that? This is one ten. So I've got one 10 to make my number 15. One ten. And can you remember how many ones? Hopefully you said five, one, ten and five ones. So here I've got like my ten stick, but all the ones individual. How many ones do I need? I hope you said five. So I'm going to count that carefully. One, two, three, four, five. And in my hand, I have, if I can show you, five ones. Quite tricky. Five ones. So I have one, ten and five ones, which will make the number 15. There's one 10, oops, there's five ones. They go over this side, very tricky for me to do in the camera. And it makes 15, one 10 and five ones, makes the number 15. Now, I know that you can't make these numbers at home with our base 10, because I'm pretty sure you don't have base 10 at home but you can do it in lots of different ways. If I share you my screen, you should better tell your grown-ups what I have got here. Can you remember what these parts here are called? I hope you said that they're called, what sort of frames? Tens frames, that's right. 
So you could ask your grown up very kindly to make you a couple of tens frames for today. Maybe they already have. These are tens frames. We know they are tens frames because they are a frame and they have how many squares? That's right, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I can see it really clearly because there is five here and five here. And I know that double five is ten. So if this is all full, I know that will be one ten, just like my one ten rod here. I've also got another tens frame here. If that's full, that would be another ten. So if they were both full, I'd have one tens frame full and another tens frame full. What number would I have then? Two tens. Two tens. Have a think. Two tens and no extra ones. What number would I have? I hope you said this number here. It's the number 20. It has two tens in it and a zero where the ones are. No extra ones, just two tens. So if my tens frame was full, I'd have 20. So to do our maths today, your adults may have made you some tens frames. If you have got tens frames, you can use them now and you can either use counters to fill them up or you could colour in little counters. So I've got a number here. What number is this number here? What number is it? This number here. You might have said it's 12, Miss Brown. I hope you did. It has one 10 and two ones. So on my tens frame, I'm going to make the number 12. I'm going to count out. Oh, hang on a minute. Do I need to count out 110 or will I just know when I've got 110? How will I just know when I've got 110? I don't think I need to count. I think I can be really clever. I can talk and fill out my tens frame. Why can I do that? How will I know that I've got 10 without counting? I hope you said because this is a tens frame, Miss Brown, and you've already told us if the tens frame is full, it is one ten. So I filled up one frame. I've got one ten, and I can see here my number twelve. It has one ten. So far, so good. Now with my second tens frame, I'm not going to fill that up because it doesn't have two tens. It only has one ten. It has one ten. And how many extra ones are there in twelve? I hope you said two. It has two extra ones. So I have one ten here and two extra ones. One, two. So on my two tens frames here, I have now made the number 12. It has one ten and two ones. Here is a special model we've used before in class. Can you remember what it is called? I hope you said it is a part, part, whole model. I hope you also said it doesn't just have to have two parts. It can have lots of parts, but this one by itself is always the whole number. Our whole number that we're making today is, I hope you said 12, here's my whole number. So in the whole part here, I'm going to write the number 12. My whole number is 12. Now, my part, part, whole today does have two parts because I'm making my numbers looking at how many tens and ones each number has. So I want to split my 12 into two parts, but not just any two parts. I know normally we can break them into lots of different ways, but today the two parts I want to show are the tens and the ones. So when class we say the whole number is 12, one part is this and one part is this. What parts will I have if I'm breaking my whole number 12 into two parts and the parts are one part is how many tens and one part is how many ones? I've got 12. How many tens do I have? I hope you said I have one ten. So I have 12. One part is 10 just by itself, one 10. And how many ones do I have? I hope you said two. And our two parts joined together, added together, 10 and two are the same as having the whole number 12. So 
the whole number is 12, one part is 10 and one part is 2. When we add them together, they make the whole number 12. OK, so that's our 12. If you want to do this more practically, you don't want to do it on tens frame, you might have to find your grown-ups to find you some things to make the ten. So instead of making ten ones like this, because I'm not sure you'll have them at home, you could use straws or pencils or spaghetti or things like that. So I've got some straws here. OK, and I'm going to make my straws into the number 12. So first of all, I'm going to make my tens. How many tens do I have? One ten. So I need ten straws. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I have ten ones. I'm going to join them all together to make my one ten rod. So I've got some elastic bands. You might have a hairband or something at home you can use. And I'm going to tie them all together because they were straws. The straws were ones by themselves, but now they've made a ten. So I have one ten, a nice big ten straw. I've only got ten. I want to make twelve. So I've got one ten, just like in our puppet hole. And how many ones? I hope you said two. So I need two extra straws, two ones. So I have one ten and two ones. And all together, these straws will make twelve. But I don't have to count them all because I know this is ten. Ten and two ones is 12. 10 and two, 12. So I'm going to try another number. I wonder if you can do it with me. What number do I have now? What number is that one? This time I can see my tens and my ones really well. I can see it has one 10 and four ones. One ten and four ones. What number is that? What number is it? I'm going to make it. So I'm going to make my one ten again. I don't have to count it. I'm just going to fill my ten frame. I'm going to make ten and it said four ones. What number is that? I hope you've been saying, Miss Brown, it's fourteen. One ten and four is fourteen. There's my ten. One ten. And four ones makes 14. And I can prove it. Look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I have made the number 14 with my tens frame. Now you could draw this in your tens frame or you could use the resources you have at home to make it. This time I'm going to use pencils to make it. So I'm making the number 14. So each of these pencils is going to represent one. So how many do I need for the first part of my number? How many tens, how many ones? I hope you said you need 10 pencils to join together to make one 10, Miss Brown. So I go one, two, three, four, Nine and ten. I have ten pencils, ten ones. All together there is now one ten. Don't need to count them again. I'm going to tie them together. This is one ten, like in the number 14. It has one ten. But do I have 14 all together? I hope you said no, Miss Brown, you don't. You have one ten. Here is the number 14. It has one ten and how many extra ones how many extra pencils do i need to represent those extra ones i hope you said one two three four i've got one ten and four extra ones four ones all together they make 14 so in my part part whole model i write my whole number is 14 and the two parts we're splitting into today are the tens and the one. It has one ten and it has four extra ones. Now, your grown ups at home might want to give you your own numbers to make now. You can try numbers 
up to 20 if you're feeling really confident you could have a go with those numbers up to 50 give them your best shot remember to look at the number to look at each digit and what it represents okay so uh, we've got our tens and our ones so you need to look really carefully how many tens do i need and how many ones you could draw them on a 10 frame you could make them on a part part hole or if you've got some things you can use to build them at home you could even use lego bricks if you've got them you could make a 10 brick and then some ones you can make all different numbers i've also put a link for the grown-ups to show you different lessons that you can do to practice this skill so there's some place value within 20 and some place value within 50. the main words that we'll be looking at today are using those words of the tens and the ones and if you're using your tens frame you can see the tens and the ones you might also when you're talking about our part but whole need the number the whole number the whole amount and the two parts it breaks into the part that shows the tens and the part that shows the ones i've also put on one of my favorite fun songs to finish off your math lesson today so hopefully you can have a go at that today if you have any problems then do contact your child's class teacher but hopefully you'll have lots of fun building lots of different numbers today so good luck happy mathsing everybody and i will see you all tomorrow take care bye bye